All right, at Teal Toe Automotive here, I got a little collection of K-Series crankshaft pulleys and I thought we'd do a little bit of a experiment. I got my shipping scale here and the weight display there. Here's a factory crank pulley from a TSX. You see that one is 4.2 pounds. And then going down the scale, we've got this very nice Alutec part. This is a factory diameter part and uh, it's got a little mass to it, you can see. It's still a big weight savings, 1.7 is the weight on the Alutec. And uh, also in the stock size arena, there's the Accelerate Pulley, which is manufactured by Unorthodox Racing. Uh, so when we weigh that one, we come in at 0.6. That's a very light pulley. Uh, of course, you can always get an underdrive pulley too. Uh, Non-stop tuning does an underdrive pulley. These are smaller diameters, so the less material is definitely going to cause the weight to be less. And point, point 0.4 pounds. That's really super light. Um, and then, uh, of course, Unorthodox makes a lightweight crank pulley also. Let's see, that one comes in. Uh, it doesn't even register on the scale. Point 0.3. Wow, that's super light. All these pulleys weigh almost nothing It's uh, compared to the stock one. That's gonna translate to faster revving of the engine. Uh, you're gonna get definitely more uh, acceleration when you go with a lighter pulley versus a heavier one. Um, and as the weight goes down, that effect is gonna increase. So you'll find that basically uh, the engine's gonna rev out a little bit more quickly. And with the underdrive ones, you're gonna get even more power benefit as they spin the accessories even less. Uh, Honda's favor uh, revving out most of the time and uh, having a lightweight crank pulley really allows you to get a little bit more power out of an engine. Um, but one of the major criticisms that people have is that these sorts of pulleys do away with what people call a harmonic balancer. And we'd like to address some myths surrounding that uh, component. Uh, when people are talking about a harmonic balancer, that's a complete misnomer. As far as we're concerned, there's no such thing as a harmonic balancer. There's a harmonic damper and there's a balancer, which in a lot of engines, these are called balancers. And part of the reason why is because, uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of mass taken away right here to balance this thing out and make it so that when it spins, it doesn't vibrate or anything like that. It is common for many engine manufacturers to balance the rotating assembly. This, the crankshaft is over here and when that's spinning, the whole thing needs to be balanced. A lot of engine manufacturers will include this pulley in that balancing process so that the bottom end doesn't shake itself apart uh, as you're spinning at different RPM. Balancing something that spins is a pretty common practice. I mean, we balance our wheels, we balance flywheels and everything. But uh, in a Honda engine, and many other engines I'm sure too, uh, this crank pulley isn't actually part of that balancing process in the bottom end of the engine. So in a sense, by taking this off and putting on one of these, as long as this is balanced too, you're not gonna have a, a bottom end vibration. And so this isn't technically a balancer, it's a pulley. When you look it up on Honda's website uh, for parts, you even see they call it a, a pulley. It's a crankshaft pulley, it's not a balancer. So any thought of like losing bottom end balance by switching from this to this is really entirely dependent on this thing being balanced. These are completely concentric. Um, they're very finely machined. Unorthodox Racing makes this one, and these are not out of balance. By putting this on your crankshaft, you're not gonna get an out of balance bottom end. Now, of course, if you're blueprinting an engine, you'll probably find that some balance is gonna change. The tolerance of balance is dependent on the quality of the build, and from an OE perspective, this is perfectly fine, but if you are building your engine, we would probably recommend throwing this on the end of the crankshaft and then balancing it as a complete assembly. That would probably just make you have just that much tighter of an engine. So the second part of the component is a harmonic damper, and this is probably the bigger part that people get really pretty confused about. A harmonic damper, and a lot of times people assume this is it, this rubber ring, in the back of the pulley here. Uh, so basically like the hub of the pulley is isolated from the center with this rubber ring. And people assume that that's a harmonic damper and it's supposed to dampen harmonic vibration within the crankshaft itself. So as the engine is running, uh, power strokes are pushing down on each one of the pistons and that creates somewhat of a, a thrusting effect downward on the, on the uh, crankshaft 
at an angle, right? And so there's sometimes this little bit of a spring effect that happens in the crankshaft. And when that's happening over and over and over again throughout all the cylinders and through different RPMs, they can build on each other and that itself becomes a vibration and that can really have detrimental effect on uh, the bottom end of the engine. I think in an extreme case, you would see the crankshaft breaking from too much harmonic vibration. So some engines with particularly flexy crankshafts will have what's called a harmonic damper in here. Uh, I know that old Ford engines and certain other engines will have that um, because they'll just destroy themselves if they don't have something to dampen that harmonic vibration that happens through the power cycle. On a Honda engine though, you find that most of the crankshafts are forged and they're very strong and they don't have so much flex in them. Plus they're shorter stroke too. So you're just not really seeing as much uh, twisting of those crankshafts through the power cycles. And so, while there is a rubber ring in this pulley, it's not saving the crankshaft from eating itself apart. It's just not. Um, we think that actually this rubber ring is here to dampen inputs from different uh, accessory drives. So basically like, you know, AC clicking on and off, power steering, loading and unloading, uh, alternator loading and unloading. Those are going to have a, a, a feedback into the crankshaft that could cause a little bit of vibration when the uh, accessories are turning on and off while the engine is running. So this, this rubber pulley in here, this rubber thing here, this is not in our estimation for high harmonic damping. It can deteriorate over time. As you can see, this one's a little bit cracked up. This is the original one off the TSX. Now, so we've got a couple of points of support to, these are generally theories. This is what we sell parts based on. We believe in these, these theories and these facts. We believe in them to be facts. So we have a little bit of support for that. Number one is we've been selling these pulleys for over 10 years. I've had actually a lightweight underdrive pulley on my actual TSX for over 10 years. I've done oil sample testing. I've taken it to track days, daily driving, long distance commutes and things. I've taken it to LA from Portland at least three or four times nonstop. And I've not ever had an issue. You know, something else I was remembering is uh, not every crankshaft comes from the factory with a rubber damper in it. I mean, look at this one, 89 Integra or first generation CRX. Uh, the factory crank pulley doesn't have a damper. This pulley doesn't have a damper. Um, many engines actually don't have harmonic uh, dampers on them at all. So our contention is that these engines are well enough designed and well enough built from the factory that they don't actually suffer from some of these uh, detrimental factors that other engines do. So, you know, we've talked to Unorthodox Racing about this too. And one of the very good points that they bring up, uh, in order for a harmonic damper to actually work, um, this pulley needs to be really rigidly attached to the crankshaft in a way that basically it's one piece because otherwise the harmonic vibrations that are coming through the crankshaft are just not going to ever find their way into the pulley to be dampened. Um, so to say it another way, if this is uh, loosely fitting at all on the crankshaft, then you're going to find that no vibration is actually dampened by a, a harmonic damper that might be in this pulley. And you can tell the way that this mounts onto the hub of the crankshaft, or I'm sorry, the snout of the crankshaft on the end, it's a splined connection. It just slides on, and uh, there's a keyway to orient it in the proper place. Now, the keyway is only there for these timing marks to orient the pulley in one specific place on the crankshaft. This isn't really a, a very rigid connection at all. Like, this doesn't have any play right but you really need to have an interference fit so a harmonic damper doesn't mount just by sliding on and then attaching it with a bolt right you'd have to actually heat them up slide them over the snout of the crank because there's you know then it's going to cool off and really kind of seal itself onto the crankshaft in a way that it becomes almost one piece with the crankshaft it's really not doing anything to dampen harmonic vibration at all so you know go ahead and buy your lightweight crank pulley with confidence it's not going to uh, cause your engine to blow up. It really isn't your Honda engine anyway. I can't speak to other brands. We're Honda Acura specialists here at Heeltoe. People who have heard uh, time and time again not to get the part like this because it's just bad for your engine and they can't even say why. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, as soon as somebody says harmonic balancer, just stop listening to them. They're really not talking um, about facts. I think they're just repeating what they've heard online or read in other posts and things. So make sure you're understanding who your authority figures are when you're talking about technical parts like this. Hopefully this video will help you make some decisions which pulley you might want to run. Uh, you know, of course, if you have any other questions about this, go ahead and leave a comment or uh, give us a call 
or whatever. You know, go ahead and flame us if you disagree, but we've been uh, in the business now for more than 15 years, and uh, we're sticking to it. All right, that's it. Heel Toe in your corner, and uh, have fun shopping on heeltoeauto.com.